Okay, uh, just a quick uh, quick note that uh, uh, thanks Nick for preparing the agenda and Nick will be picking up uh, the project uh, in the middle of April. So today he is going to uh, just a warm up, try to run this meeting and uh, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Um, yeah, feel free to, uh, to chime in if I'm missing anything or... Um, uh, misstating it, but uh, yeah, I'll start with the sharding update, uh, critical uh, status updates. Um, so just at a high level um, on the development side, we're getting to the end of known development work. Um, so we're starting to look at the follow-up work and then um, and what it'll take to support self-managed instances uh, for the rollout. Uh, so phase four has been rolled out 100% on staging since March 30th and uh, production phase four rollout uh, is in progress where uh, I think all the change MRs have been reviewed. So thank you so much um, to, uh, to our count, uh, infrastructure counterparts for doing that. Um, we're uh, planning to begin the production rollout of phase four tomorrow. So uh, we're anticipating it'll be up to a week to get to 100%, uh, but yeah, we're, we're on track there. So thanks everyone for, uh, for your work getting, um, getting that ready. And then uh, just a note that Dylan has a draft MR in progress to remove, uh, to clean up environment variables and feature flags post production phase four rollout. So that's still in draft state, but uh, getting it ready to go. And then for phase six, um, Camille and Furkan were able to implement a couple of MRs um, to help with the CI owned uh, runners uh, performance issue. Um, there's one more uh, MR that's, that's in progress. Um, and some of the testing has shown up to a 47x performance improvement against the non-decomposed version. So it's pretty promising. Um, we're looking to be on black for phase six, but uh, it'll be likely that um, a larger re-architect of the feature um, from, from the ops uh, group will, will need to um, be done. And then for phase seven testing and uh, disaster recovery planning, uh, Nick Westbury is reviewing the EPIC uh, with the different potential uh, DR scenarios that we need to look at. Um, a 50K environment on GCP was created and um, the database layer is, is in progress. Um, I believe uh, Jose and Nathan are working on that um, and uh, it's not a target date of April 8th for that. Um, I think that's something that we might want to uh, get some confirmation on, um, see if there are any blockers there. Um, and then, yeah, I, it's, there's been some good discussion in the DR epic. Um, I think over the next uh, couple of weeks, we'll really want to prioritize, uh, confirm what we view as the riskiest scenarios and just prioritize focusing on, on testing those. Um, Cause it seems like at this point we, um, it may not make sense to try to cover every scenario, but um, at least figure out which ones we want to prioritize and, and see how far we can get. Um, so that's something we'll, we'll want to track more closely in, in the next week or two. And then uh, there's a partial analysis of the test coverage investigation available. Uh, overall, the endpoint, the API endpoint coverage is low and we're, we also need sidekick worker coverage. So the plans to identify a few high risk endpoints and try to add tests, but at this point it's looking unrealistic to, uh, to bring the overall coverage uh, up to, to something that would resemble complete uh, in such a short period of time. And then uh, over to the ops update. I think I see Chan, you have a comment there. Yeah, uh, basically that's a question for Sheryl. I will uh, ping her uh, offline since she's not here. But uh, that's the ultimate solution for the uh, CI on the runners. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, on the infrastructure side, uh, we don't have any new updates there. We did roll out the MRs that were required for production change. They were they are out and reviewed. And um, unless pinged with the team, we don't have any other action item relating to this. Thank awesome. You. 
thank you so much for for that update and for um, yeah for all the um, for the reviews and and uh, really being on top of those. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, do we have any uh, blockers that need to be discussed uh, or dependencies to coordinate? Doesn't look like it. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, as far as new issues, um, can view that. But I think uh, things have generally been stable and uh, no no modifications of the timeline. I think uh, I think we're looking on track. All right. Uh, Looks like we're at the end of the agenda. Uh, thanks so much, everyone. Um, have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.